The Earth remains the only inhabited world known so far, but scientists are finding that the universe abounds with the chemistry of life. And in the quest for life, the experts have been looking on other planets for life to thrive. So, in this video we will tell you about the habitability of Mars, along with its background information and important facts. If you like our videos, then please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Gateway to Knowledge and look forward for the videos that would be waiting for you in the future. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun is of great interest for past or present or future life in our universe, since current conditions on Mars are thought to be analogous to conditions on early Earth, and Mars contains carbon, potential energy sources to support life, and water in some form. Mars is a dusty, cold, desert world with a very thin atmosphere. This dynamic planet has seasons, polar ice caps, canyons, extinct volcanoes, and there are evidences that it was even more active in the past. So, this red planet is very suitable for to support life, and we will be talking about its habitability. Well, stay tuned with us in this exciting new journey to explore more about the living conditions of Mars and answer the question that are we going to shift on Mars, soon the habitability of Mars has been debatable for a very long time, but with new discoveries in the fields of Mars geology, chemistry, and astrobiology, it needs a continuous revision to encompass newly emerging information. You now that the requirements for habitability mainly include solvent, water, temperature and physiochemical conditions, an energy source, and major and trace elements. Beginning with the most vital component of our body and for all life forms, water. It supports complex processes encompassing all molecular, organismal, and ecosystem processes on Earth. The geological features on Mars indicate that there may have been liquid water on the surface at some time in the past, as evidenced by dry river valleys, the appearance of lake formations and deltas. Images from the Mars Global Surveyor MGS, and Mars Orbiter Camera MOC, shows that there appears to be at least 10 valleys leading to a central valley, which enters into the Holden Northeast Crater. Current researches has shown that water does exist as polar ice caps, subsurface ice deposits, water vapor, hydrated salts, and groundwater. Water, whether in the form of transient water, brines or ice, is critical for the habitability of Mars. The current state of water in combination with other environmental factors is not enough to support life on the surface. Studies indicate that early Mars was likely to have been more active and habitable than present-day Mars. Moving ahead, the second most important component for supporting life are organic compounds. The first discovery of organic molecules was reported by Freisenet. Among discovered molecules by the sample analysis at Mars, SAM, instrument on the Curiosity rover were chlorobenzene and C2 to C4 dichloralkanes. Moreover, the sample's analysis also indicated the presence of sulfides on Mars, which strongly supports microbial activity. However, even with the discovery of organic compounds, it is still unknown whether their source is from biogenic or abiogenic processes, or if they have current functions in terms of habitability. Moving next, the Microscopy, Electrochemistry, and Conductivity Analyzer, Mika, suite, carried by the Phoenix Mars Lander, brought three soil samples, and were analyzed using the Wet Chemistry Laboratory, WCL, instrument. The results indicated that the average pH of Martian soil is 7.7, .7, which is close to the optimal pH for microbial growth, even though acidic and alkaline pH values are also tolerated by microorganisms on Earth. By looking at the salts found in Martian soils the scientists found out many salts including sodium chloride, magnesium sulfate, calcium sulfate, magnesium chloride and calcium chloride. Salts influences our water activity and have major impacts on the potential for life. The study of Martian data from Meridiani Planum and other brine environments on Mars surfaces indicated at first that the water activity at these locations might be a limiting factor for microbial growth and survival. However, in light of recent studies, the barrier of low water activity may be overcome. 
The presence of salts does not seem to create a barrier for surface habitability, as halophilic microorganisms are common on Earth and known to survive and grow under high salt concentrations. However, combined with other factors on Mars, such as radiation, adverse conditions might still render habitability on the Mars surface impossible. Well, that's not enough because we also need sunlight, but not the harmful ultraviolet radiations. The habitability on the Martian surface is highly dependent on protection from UV and ionizing radiation. Mars does not have a magnetic field to deflect energetically charged particles, including galactic cosmic rays and solar energetic particles. These particles penetrate the thin Martian atmosphere and react with the regolith, resulting in the creation of other particles, leading to an oxidizing environment on the Martian surface. The adaption and survival of microorganisms to surface radiation would be an important factor for Mars to be habitable. Otherwise, even short-term survival is difficult as the radiation on the surface is too strong for any life forms to thrive. This makes it is more plausible that life may exist or has existed in the Martian subsurface. But that's not just enough because we all desire to live in a clean atmosphere. So, we also have to analyze the atmospheric conditions of Mars. The Martian atmosphere is highly anoxic. The recent measurements of Martian atmosphere from the SAM on the Curiosity rover shows that it is composed of 96% carbon dioxide, 1.93% argon, 1.89% nitrogen, 0.145% oxygen, and 0.1% carbon monoxide. Some microorganisms isolated from the spacecraft assembly facilities SAF, are facultative in Arabs, while some of them were obligate in Arabs. The Martian atmosphere also contains small quantities of water. Water vapor in the Martian atmosphere is dependent on seasonal water removal from ice caps at both polar regions, some of them also gets transported by winds. These all suggest the growth of certain fungi and other microorganisms. Another important characteristic of the Martian atmosphere that is extremely distinct from the Earth's atmosphere is a very low pressure of 6 millibar. Low pressure is considered as a limiting factor for habitability, but examples of microorganisms surviving under low pressure may suggest that the Martian atmosphere might be easily overcome for surface, and in particular subsurface, habitability. Now, we are halfway there. The important characteristic to be studied for habitability is to analyze the Martian surface. But life cannot survive on its surface because of the extreme and harsh conditions. So, the subsurface of Mars is the most probable place where life is likely to survive and thrive, due to protection from the extreme environment found on the Martian surface. The subsurface provides protection from radiation. Moreover, the physicochemical characteristics of Mars are favorable for harboring chemolithotrophic life, through the use of inorganic compounds for the production of metabolic energy. The most commonly recognized potential electron donor in the Mars subsurface is hydrogen, which can be used by microbes in methanogenesis and iron or sulfate reduction. Moreover, the discovery of methane on Mars suggests the potential for past or present habitability and life on Mars. Even though the Martian surface and subsurface are characterized by some of the most extreme and life-limiting physical and chemical characteristics, there are study-based indications that Mars may indeed be habitable for microbial life forms. Although both the surface and subsurface can provide the basic needs to meet habitability requirements, the subsurface is more likely to provide a protective niche from radiation and low temperatures. The novel discoveries on Mars-related habitability reassures researchers to continue the path of seeking signatures of past, present or future life on it. Whether any of these will be discovered, and in what forms, is yet to be determined. But now if we summarize the requirements for habitability, the subsurface of Mars meet all of the requirements in its current state, therefore, it can be recognized as habitable. Even with this assumption, we do not know if there are any life forms that presently reside deep in the Martian subsurface. It is the presence of both methane and hydrogen that is an important drive for consideration that life might exist now or might have existed in the past. However, more research is needed to determine the source of methane and hydrogen. Once their origin is assigned either to abiotic or biotic activity or a combination of both, 
then assessment of Mars habitability will be more defined. We hope you enjoyed our journey to Mars. If you have any thoughts, ideas or suggestions about our video, feel free to share them in the comments section below. See you soon.